This story comes to us from fox19.com. And today is doggone dummy day. I'm going to give you this story, and then later this morning I'm going to give you another story. Both of these are about dogs. So today's doggone dummy day. This one's going to make you mad if you're a pet owner. Now, I'm just going to pretty much, I've read through it. I'm going to give you the synopsis of it or whatever you call it. I'm going to paraphrase. But in Mason, Ohio, a man was let off with a warning by police after he allegedly left his dog inside of a hot car while he went into Kings Island. Now, the city of Mason Police Department released the report, which says an officer was called by park security to Kings Island regarding the dog that was left in the car. Now, the officer apparently arrived there at 6 p.m. on June 15th, and there was a small white dog inside the vehicle, panting aggressively, like, (laughs) that's hot, man. Of course it was, because the security guard put a thermal scanner in the car, and the temperature inside of the vehicle was between 117 and 118 degrees. That's freaking hot. Now... The officer was told by park security that about three hours before, about 3 p.m., there was the first incident with the same dog owner that he had left his dog in the locked car. Temps inside the vehicle at that time were between 120 and 125 degrees. So what they did was the park security got his car car door open, took the dog over to the first aid center, and left a note letting the owner know you can come to the first aid center and pick up your dog. And when he went over there, they said, you can't leave him in a, in a hot car. Well, what does he do? He comes back three hours later and leaves it in a hot car. So what happens? <clears throat> the officer said he explained to the owner he could not leave the dog inside of the car while he was in Kings Island told him that it's 95 degrees outside today and the heat index is well above 100. Now, since the owner left his dog inside of the hot vehicle twice in one day, Kings Island advised the owner he would not be welcome back in the park for the rest of the day at 6 p.m. You can't come back in the next few hours, okay? Come back tomorrow. The officer told the owner that if he returned and found the dog left alone inside of the locked car again, the owner would be charged with cruelty to animals. So basically, let's sum it up, the moral of the story. You got this guy, leaves his dog in this hot-ass car. They take it to the first aid center, and he comes and gets it. He does it a second time, same day. They call the police. What do the cops do? Don't you do that again or we'll get you with animal cruelty. This time it ain't cruel. Okay, he's just hot and he's panting. Next time it'll be cruel. What? This guy should have been charged with animal cruelty on the spot. He did it twice in one day. Well, you know, the three strikes rule. The dog has to be hot in a locked car three times before we do, you know. Mason, Ohio, you fail at this station. Uh, Anybody in Mason, Ohio that owns a pet, you ought to be pissed off.